Infectious coryza. Infectious coryza is usually acute and sometimes chronic. A very highly infectious disease in chicken and occasionally in pheasants and guinea fowl. Infectious coryza is caused by bacterium Haemophilus paragaliranum and is seen in many countries, especially in multi-age farms that are never depopulated. Morbidity is high, but in this video, I'm going to take you through a simple play, simple way of bringing back or a minor surgery of an eye. Simply press the eye gently. A white stuff will ooze out. This stuff is like pus or hard condensed fat. Hold the beak of the bird gently. Get your pair of forceps. Then gently remove the stuff from the eyes from the bird's eye try to pull it slowly until it's off after it comes off it falls down check inside to ensure that there is no remnants and if there is no remnants and the eye is clear then it's done in another case you will press the pass the stuff white stuff gently Something will come out like pus or some deposits. After the deposits come, you'll find that even after removing the outer one, there is still something like a coat remaining inside. So gently remove it using a pair of forceps and ensure that the eye is very clear. This is to prevent the disease from resurfacing as a res or its residues. Use methylated use surgical spirit applied on a clean cotton to clearly slowly and gently wipe the wound or the surface around the eye to clear it so clear gently gently and check to see that you have completely removed all the stuff inside the bird's eye you'll find that you'll see the bird's eye is still in good shape if you've done it very carefully like you can see here the eye is still okay although it is sunken as a result of the swelling outside the, the eye so you'll put some tetracycline inside the eye in form of an eye drop for five days and give the bird some antibiotic eg bioso that is basically an antibiotic that is rich in um, uh, sulfurs sulfides then you can set the bird free but separate it in another case you'll find that after pressing the eye gently the white stuff will come out but something in form of a web remains inside the eye covering the exterior of the eye this is a very complicated process so you need to gently remove the white stuff and then using your forceps Gently remove the remaining web or coat-like thing covering the eye. So do it very gently to avoid affecting the pupil of the eye or rather the eye's inner contents because we are targeting to bring the eye back to life. So then wipe gently with surgical spirit on a cotton just to ensure that it's okay then check again if there is any of this foreign matter still remaining in the eye because leaving any in the eye is just not solving the problem so you can see here we have removed but there's still some white stuff inside the eye therefore we are gently removing it it's a bit painful a process to the bird so you need to do it as fast as possible in order to bring the back the bird back in good shape and avoid the much pain it it goes other signs of coryza include so mortality can be up to 20 percent the root of infection is conjunctival or nasal with an incubation of one to three days followed by a rapid onset of the disease over two to three day period with the whole flock affected in 10 days. 
This results in increasing culling. Carriers are important with the transmission via exudates and via direct contact. It is not egg transmitted at all as many people see. Mostly it's through contact, touching the handling infected birds and touching fertile eggs that are just hatched or day old chicks will result to the rapid transmission. The bacteria survives two to three days outside the bird but is easily killed by heat, drying and disinfectant. Well, the common signs are facial swelling, purulent ocular nasal discharge, swollen wattles, sneezing, dyspensia, loss in condition, drop in egg production, and lack of appetite. In postmortems, the cataral inflammation or nasal passages and sinuses are more conspicuous. There is conjunctivitis, there is eyelid adherence, there is scissors material in the conjunctivus, and tracheitis. Control is basically through vaccination, better biosecurity. You can also do culling of the affected birds. However, you can treat using streptomycin, sulfur, sulfonamides, tylosine, and erythromycin drugs. If you love If the disease is severe on the farm, then simply cull the infected birds and to a rare extent you can go ahead and do a vaccination. Ensure that you control and have maximum biosecurity. Subscribe to the channel, more videos to come.